Hello. I'm going to talk today about compost toilets, something that I think is a really good thing. I'm going to explain exactly what a compost toilet is. I'm going to look at whether it's safe or not, because people have concerns about whether it's safe. And then I'm going to look at the advantages of it, the disadvantages of it. And then finally, I'm going to show you our compost toilets, which we've recently built a new one. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. So let's begin. Like, what is a compost toilet? A lot of people call them dry toilets, so that's the same thing. So basically what ours is, which is what I'm talking about today, is the most simple version, I believe, of a compost toilet. And I've used lots of different kinds, but this is one that works for us. How ours works is, is that when you go to the toilet, you go not into water, you go into a container. In our case, it is a bucket, but I'll show you it's not as bad as it sounds. So your feces and urine goes into that bucket. You cover it with sawdust. And then at certain points, like when it's filled up a little bit, you take that and you compost it. You empty that into a compost heap. It then composts for a reasonable length of time. At least a year is recommended. And we leave ours for two years just to be absolutely sure that everything is broken down. And then after that, you can use that compost on your garden. You've got to be careful how you use it, just again, to be completely safe. And uh, I'll go into the safety aspect of it now. So yeah, it is safe as long as you're sensible about it and you do it properly. The main thing is to make sure that it's composted properly at a high temperature. So normal composting process happens at a high temperature and that is high enough to kill any pathogens, any d disease causing bacteria that might happen to be in your feces or urine. So it, you've got to sort of break that down properly got to keep it covered so like in the actual toilet bit itself after each time after you've gone to the toilet sprinkle some sawdust over so it's completely covered then you don't get any problem with flies or anything else we've never had a problem with flies and then when you put it to the compost heap again make sure it's covered with some sawdust and then you can use your other compost waste your kitchen waste and things that you would normally compost garden waste include all that in it because you need a big enough heap to create enough temperature for it all to break down properly. And then as long as you leave it for a good length of time, like I said, a year, we leave ours two years just to be absolutely sure. And then you can use that on your garden. And then that's the next and final safety thing. I wouldn't recommend using it on anything where the food that you're gonna eat, like your fruit or your vegetables are in direct contact with the compost. So I would put it around the bottom of things like fruit trees and fruit bushes. That's where we tend to use it or other shrubs and things that you want to have some goodness and nourishment because it is really good for growing. So the advantages are number one advantage. It saves water. That is just to me so important. So you're not using any water at all for, you know, you're not flushing anything away. The second thing is you're keeping all those nutrients. So you've got them, you're making you know it's a complete cycle which makes complete sense to me and um, so you're keeping those nutrients you're turning it into compost and then you're using that on your garden so i think that's a real positive uh, benefit so advantages less water more compost and less pollution another advantage i'd say is that you can um, you can have your toilet in a nice location you can have it outside it's really nice so uh, more privacy you could say well, depending on how you build it, it could be more or less privacy. So they're the advantages. Disadvantages, I don't really think there are any. The disadvantages, I suppose, are if you don't do it properly, that's, that's not good. It's just not a good experience. You'll have flies and um, it won't be composted properly and that kind of thing. But let's assume you are doing it properly. I think the only disadvantage is probably with ourselves and our relationship with our faeces and urine and how we see all that and, and how we relate to it. So for a lot of people, it's just too much. The idea of having to do anything like, um, you know, take your own waste and compost it and have that contact in a way. So yes, you're definitely more connected to it. I have to say, I've only experienced it, it's not that horrible. It really isn't that horrible. It's the most normal thing in the world, really, when you think about it. It's the flushing toilet that's not normal. But we've had those since about early 1800s and we've got used to that and it's definitely been promoted as uh, that's the best thing. And I think in some places it maybe is if you're in high density housing, it's uh, you've got to have somewhere to compost your waste. So 
if you haven't got the place to do that and you can't do that safely, then maybe, you know, it's maybe not a bad thing to have the toilets we have. But for any of us that are living in the countryside, you've got a bit of space, you've got a big garden, then it is possible. So I think the negative is just our own relationship with our excretions. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. And I think if you can get over that, which you can <laughs> probably, if you can get over that, then it's great. I think all the things are so positive. So that's a brief shout out for compost toilets really if you're at all interested it's worth looking into and maybe give it a go and the other thing is if you don't want to make your own then there's loads of compost loos now that you can get you know you can buy sort of off the shelf and you can have those in your house it doesn't have to be like we've done it in the garden just because we've got room to do that but you can have a compost loo in your house you can replace your normal loo with a compost loo or you could just have it in another part of the house so that sometimes you use it and sometimes you don't because we did find when we came here that people coming to visit us did not want the compost loo particularly one or two brave souls i suppose got used to it and quite got to quite like it but uh, most people, it's just a step too far. But I really wanted to share that with you. Let's go see the toilet then. <laughs> so here I am in our compost loo. And big credit to Tom for building this and all using recycled materials, things that other people were throwing away or, or didn't want anymore. And then things like, I wonder if you can see this if I bring it forward, yes. Things like the handle on this door, which is a bit of ivy root that we had. So it makes a nice handle, so by using branches and things. The walls are built from reclaimed floorboards, which are lovely because they've got grooves and they fit together really well. And then we've got windows. We've been given a lot of windows over the years. People are always changing their windows and they're so useful for things like this, so it's great. The other thing I should mention is probably took Tom about two days to make it and that's, that's not two full days but probably over a couple of days it needn't be too complicated I mean really just building a bit of privacy that's all you're doing and uh, yeah it's very simple and then we just empty the bucket and compost it safely and I'll get out of the way now and let you have a look inside it's not that far from our house and here's our compost loo there's <laughs> not a lot to say about it it's very simple in a way the basic structure is four posts one at each corner that one in that corner is on the outside and then filling in with the floorboards. And, uh, and here's the toilet itself. Okay, so normal toilet seat, lift up lid, a well fitted bucket underneath. You don't want too much air gap. There's, uh, it's clean, the toilet clean, especially for this video. Okay. The seat's fixed there, so that's just fixed to this wooden base. And then the bucket underneath there. And then I've got it stood on um, an upturned washing up bowl because that just gave it the height for the bucket to fit quite neatly underneath. And then it's easy just to slide it out when you want to empty it. The other thing I find quite useful in a compass loo is to have some kind of little brush like here. Because often if it's an outside loo, you can guarantee there might just be the odd little creature or a bit of um, branch or something. So we just usually have that. Here we have a tin with some sawdust. So each time someone's been to the loo, you just get a little handful of the sawdust and throw it in on top so that it's covered. So that's all you need really. A bit of hand wash stuff if you want some detergent or something to wash your hands afterwards. But it works really well. Yeah, you'll see we've got little gaps here at the top. There's plenty of air. In. Hopefully you can see the view. That's the view out of our compost toilet. Okay, I am going to fit a little curtain up here, just a little curtain rail for those people that don't feel comfortable sat here like this. But it is actually very private because there's nobody close by. So you've got a lovely view. So if you like these videos, there's a couple more here. Hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to be notified of when I make new videos. Okay, lots of love and have a good week. Bye.